the Chicago Bulls officially own the Hawks. It's about time some team in Chicago gets sitchy and get right. We're going to talk about how impressive was that win last night versus the Atlanta Hawks. And then me and C-Dub, we found out we got to go and face a Grizzly. Help the bell. You already know. We're going to talk about it and break it all down. But you know, you got to hear the music first. Oh, yeah. Gang. Yeah. Shabu's podcast with the Cognac boys. I'm Cognac boy Bobby, and I am with my dog, C Dub. What's the word? What's the word, man? I feel like Aaron Rodgers right now, bro. What's up? <laughs> if y'all tuned in for the first time, welcome in. Hit that like button and subscribe. And our family members that's returning, welcome back to the show. C-Dub, the Chicago Bulls got themselves a victory last night over the Atlanta Hawks. C-Dub, in the last 10 games, the Chicago Bulls are 7-3. and three. Wow. <laughs> And we won the last three what? and then we understand that ayo dosumu has been doing his son horrendously <laughs> we might have to call those people in to help him trey young what are you doing my boy yes. see dub how does it feel to have ownership stake in atlanta and you're not from atlanta <laughs> right, bro. Bro. Hey, we owe this we owe this when was the last time that we had the chance to stick our chest out and say we really own a team and it's in numbers the numbers is right there we won the last seven out of ten against the atlanta hawks like nephew said and the last three including a play-in tournament victory so when the uh rubber meets the road atlanta <laughs> we own you Ooh, I that can't believe good, this. Bro. Good. <laughs> hey, Chicago, we need something to rally around. We down bad. <laughs> Blame your mama. I don't care. <laughs> Blame your daddy for having a... Blame your mama and your daddy for... Uh, coming together in chicago so blame them not me (laughs) but see a lot of things to talk about uh in this game see the one glaring thing that you put me on to i'm like hold on they did what they gave up what we talking about the points in the paint the chicago bulls give up on a nightly basis 70 points giving up in the paint oh that's not really impressive Oh, it's, it's actually should be embarrassing for a basketball team because all the years I'm watching basketball, I've never seen someone give up 70 points in the paint. Not 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 a Chicago team. I can't remember all the bad teams we had. I don't ever recall 70 points in the paint. How about 80 points in the paint against the Houston Rockets, which is just downright sad. We have to do something about having an open lane all damn season. I would want to blame somebody, but he's actually playing pretty well. But y'all know what I'm getting at. <laughs> hey, it be like that. But see, duh. First of all, do we got to talk about Ayodo Summer? We know he went out there to say what up to his son. Yes, but I want to talk about Matis Buzella, see, duh. My man's yeah. played 20 minutes last night. Three of oh. eight in the field, one of four from uh the three. Had nine points on the night, two major blocks, a steal, four rebounds total. Billy Donovan. Billy. Two more of that. C Dub. How impressive was Montes last night? Montes was very good last night, nephew. Um, he's finally getting regular minutes for a 11 pick of the draft with uh, with insane talent and um uh uh insane ceiling that he has as a player uh i think this should have been done earlier this season this is easy let the kid go out there and learn from his mistakes he's not gonna learn that much from g league he's just gonna go out there and destroy them just like he did in this last game i think he dropped 24 and <laughs> Bro, 14. like what he's too good let the kid learn on the fly this is good you don't even gotta go to 20 minutes billy donovan you don't even have to go that far go 15 
Let the kid go out there. It's going to be sometimes when you're going to have to keep the kid in because he's going to learn quicker and quicker. Defensively, I've seen this kid guard three different players on one possession. Three. So defensively, he's getting better from early in the season. He is getting those those petty fouls. Some some fouls, the referees being a little petty. Some fouls, the rookie mistakes from him. But let him learn. I think this is the formula for um, developing this kid in Montez Puzelis. And watch this shit uh, come in at the end, at the end of this, Billy Donovan. Stop being so stubborn and give this kid some minutes. And all that also that Patrick Williams is not in. And when Patrick Williams comes back, I expect the same amount of attention to Montez Puzelis. Sorry. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. I think it's imperative that you – <clears throat> give Montez Buzelis the opportunity to, to learn. And I already said it. This is not a developmental project that you had when you brought Dalen Terry onto the team, when you brought Orlop Bettine to the team, when you brought Marco Samanovich onto the team. This is not that type of project. It's a project, but not the other type of project. The other type of project, you were starting with a piece of paper and nothing on it. This project, you got a piece of paper with some outline on it. Now you just got to fill the fill the space and put your colors to it. That's what you got to do with Montez Buzelis. He has the outline. Now he got to polish up and paint the picture. So allow this young fella to paint his picture. And I think that his effort goes a long damn way. And that's why, C-Dub, I always bring this up. It's the damn mindset. It's the mindset in players. It's the mindset in players that separate the goods from the greats. Yes. I don't know what this young fella going to be, but I love his mindset. And Billy Donovan, give him some more minutes. C-Dub, I do got to throw one thing at you. What up? At the start of the season, Julian Phillips was here. Dalen Terry was here. Start now is shifted. Seven minutes last night for Julian Phillips, C-Dub. And Dalen Terry has been a consistent minute, a consistent minute getter for the Chicago Bulls for like the last two weeks. And Julian Phillips been kind of hit a miss. Yeah. Uh, are we losing trust in Julian Phillips? I Is am that not. the coaching thing? Uh, I'm, Is I'm the not coach blaming. losing. I think I think I think it's the better question. Is the coach losing trust in Julian Phillips? I wouldn't say uh, the coach is losing trust in Julian Phillips. I'm not losing trust in Julian Phillips. He's a young player. He's kind of up and down at this present moment. He's going to be wildly inconsistent uh, with his scoring. I'm just going to say that. He is try- playing defense. He's getting called for some for some fouls uh, early when he gets in games. People are attacking him, and he's not backing down. I told you he's not scared of anything, and a lot of opposing players are, like, trying to really go at him and, like, expressing a lot of emotions when they do score on Julian Phillips. So he's kind of an irritant. He, he, he along with Dalen Terry, are my Doberman pinchers off the bench. I am not losing faith. It's going to be games like this for Julian Phillips. I just think that Dalen Terry – He's on a different level right now. He's graduated to a different level. I don't know if I've ever seen him score double double digits points. I think this is the first time with 12 points and four assists. He's making smart plays on the on the court. He's playing defense hard. He's an irritant. He ain't scared of nothing. He went at Isaiah, Isaiah Stewart, Stewart. The, the other day. He ain't playing. Uh, this guy's on a different level. I am so proud of Dale and Terry, bro. That's one. Uh, looking at the whole roster. When you want to talk about who I'm more proud of, I'm go, I'm proud of Dalen, and then I'm proud of Vooch. Those are the two most players I'm proud of on this team. Crash Bandicoot, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we cheering for you, big dog. Yeah, we cheering man. for you. I love to see this shit from Dalen Terry, man. Yeah, we was yeah. definitely at that moment a couple years ago, like, Billy, we, bro can't get no minutes. No, Billy, and then bro. yet last year, we Dalen, no. <laughs> now we in it, bit Dalen, yes. Man. That man is been he has been an irritant on the defensive side of the basketball. C dub when we talked about Julian Phillips, I love when they have that lineup out there with Dalen and Julian Phillips out there. No matter who they with, they seem like those are two wing defenders that be getting up in people business. 
Yeah. Getting up in people's business. But Dale and Terry, I'm extremely excited for him. Happy for him as well because, oh, my God, at one point, I didn't even know if he was going to last this long. I ain't going to lie to you. We didn't know. But I'm happy for him, and he worked his ass off. Now he's like that Swiss Army knife that you want to uh, that you want to have on your team. That that player that makes the winning play. C Dub, I'm gonna say this, and you let me know if I'm approaching it correctly. I just want Dale and Terry to get a little bit more dirty. Get a little yeah, bit more dirty. Be... Let okay. let's take some charges. Let's okay. take some charges. You know what I'm saying? I don't think the I think I think it was either you or Steve-O said it. Nobody takes charges on this team. Mm -hmm. let, let, let's see if Dale and Terry, you know what I'm saying, can eventually get to that. I ain't saying put your life on the line per se, but let's get let's dirty the game up a little bit. Let's dirty. I, I want to see if he can get to that level. Maybe that's too much to ask. No, 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 no. At first thought, I was finna dismiss that, but then I think about it, and when I think about seventy points in the paint and eighty points in the paint, somebody need to put their life on the line. For <laughs> it's open. Somebody like a put their life on the <laughs> line for seventy <laughs> points. <laughs> it's too much open in the paint. Somebody take a charge. If it's Dalen, it's Dalen. If it's Julian Phillips, it's Julian Phillips. Shit, Vooch, you take a charge. Somebody take a charge, bro. Somebody stop the paint from being so damn open. It's a drive through through the lane, bro. Come on. For real. So, yeah, man. We'll yeah. see. But hey, C Dub, tonight's matchup, the Chicago Bulls take on. The Memphis Grizzlies. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Right now, I'm looking at it. Uh, they got a few people that's game time decision or listed as out. C Dub, you will not see Zach Eady today. He's out of there. Uh, you will not see Vince Williams or GG Jackson. John ja Moran is a game time decision. Marcus Smart is a game time decision. The Memphis Grizzlies sit at nine and seven. We know how they go. We know how they're gonna be and ball out. And Des, what's buddy day? Desmond Bain. Bain. He be talking greasy. <laughs> what are you looking for in this matchup, man? I'm looking forward to. I hope uh, John Morant plays. Um, the Bulls won the last game. I think they played early in the season. You want you? Hold on. I'm sorry. You want what? Josh Giddy to guard John Morant? I want to see John Morant play. I, we shouldn't be done. <laughs> no, I want to see him play. But I'm just saying. No, Billy, what's the plan? Guard him. Go, he ain't ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. He, he ain't got to guard John Morant, bro. You don't put Josh Giddy on John No, Morant. it's not going to be intentional. What no, about I'm when not. the switch happens? Hey, it is what it is. I want to <laughs> see You can't hide him forever, shit. <laughs> You're uh, right. My bad. <laughs> I want to see Josh Giddy. I did want to see Zach Eady. It looks like he's out, like Nephew said. Uh, this is a team that's missing a superstar, and when he was playing, they were a really, really good team. So if he plays or if he doesn't play, because Desmond Bain, he he can score the ball, and they got Triple J out there. He can score the ball and do some defensive things. He was the defensive player of the year. Uh, I think it's a good matchup for the Chicago. Where are we? Are we in Memphis or are we in Chicago? We are in Memphis. In Chicago. We in Chicago. Oh, yeah, we, we at Chicago. home. So – so I'm going to be looking for – we got to improve that home record anyway. I think we've been playing better on the road this season. I think we got yeah. two victories. Two and five at home. Yeah. That's yeah. ugly. Yeah, so we got to start uh, putting our foot down in the sand, and especially in the paint. This going to be – we got to deal with Triple J. He's going to be making moves in the paint. They got some other guys that can also do a couple of things. Um, the Jewish guy, I think his name – I forget his name. But uh, this is going to be an interesting game. They're athletic. They like to get up and down the floor, too. A uh, little Scotty Pippen Jr. has been playing pretty good over there at Memphis, too. Facts. So it's not going to be easy. So I hope the Bulls come up and be ready. Hope they can take care of the ball. This is the formula. We've been saying it all season. Take care of the ball and hit your threes, and the Bulls can beat anybody. Yes, and they can really come out there and surprise some TCW. You told me before we even came on that Lonzo said he believed they can win 40 games. That's Hold on. <laughs> hey, some people ain't even got the Bulls winning 17. Yeah, no, <laughs> I mean, it's getting ugly out here. <laughs> that's nuts, Nick. Nephew, tell we can win over 17, nephew. Come oh, we get over Eliminate 17. that. Yes. Bro, that's 10 more games. We getting that. <laughs> we getting that. Coming soon. Say, I ain't gonna lie card, to you. Though. But I think tonight's card. game is gonna be fun. It's gonna be a, a interesting matchup, especially if we see John Moran out there. Um, that's gonna be a matchup for Kobe, Kobe White. Yeah. But that switch is gonna happen with Josh Giddy. He got to hold his own. We yeah. seen him kind of hold his own last night. But defense is effort. 
So you got to be able to step up and be able to hold your own. And then when you're not on them, I need somebody to help crash the damn boards. Why it's always one player just in the paint. I know that's the new day of the league. Everybody wants space to flow out. But damn, can somebody else crash and help with rebounders so we can get us some more opportunities? Yeah. Too much to ask for? I don't know. Bro, you know what? I've been watching. Like, you know, they've been going. You you got to be a smart team. and You got to find a way to get Giddy and Vooch on you. So you do run the pick and roll to get a switch. Vooch has been better guarding that switch on the perimeter than Josh Giddy. Yes, bro. That's bad. Yes. Huh? That's that's just, just horrific because Vooch is a bad defender. And what does that make Josh Giddy? <laughs> Basura. <laughs> <laughs> we got to change language with it. <laughs> we got to change languages, bro. But he did play pretty well. He had some effort uh, last night in the game, though. He had some effort. He showed a lot of effort. For sure. Well, all right, man. You got anything left for today's show? Oh, no. Let's get this dub, man. Let's get this dub, man. We need it. Put them together. <laughs> Let's get this dub. Y'all make sure y'all be there. Turn your, not your notification bell on as we will be having the live call hosted by us so tune in be there don't be square you already know <laughs> hit that like button subscribe if you guys want to call in to be a part of a mailbag episode call in state your name leave your tape the number to do so is in the center of your screen but if you can't see it it's 773-242-9219 we appreciate y'all always see red you already know we're gonna catch y'all on the next one for sure Cognac. Cognac. Gang. Gang.